Hi guys, this is Tina here from Under Three Acres and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade vegetable stock powder. The homemade vegetable stock powder that I'm going to show you how to make is really simple. It's really healthy compared to store-bought and the reason we started making this ourselves is because of a lot of the allergens. There are no nightshades in this. It's all the things that we love to eat and we're going to I'm going to show you how to do this for your own family. It's really simple. It's not a quick process, but it's worth it in the end. And you have lots of yummy stock powder to add to soups and casseroles or anything that you add, you know, bouillon or that kind of thing too. So let's get right to it. To make this vegetable stock powder, you need vegetables, obviously. So I like to use a large carrot, or in this case, a couple of small carrots. I've got some celery from the grocery store, as well as some homegrown, um, this is more of an heirloom celery. It's uh, more leaf, leaves than, than stalks. I've got a couple of leeks, a couple of onions, there's small ones here. I got some store-bought parsley. I didn't grow any parsley. I've got some homegrown marjoram and some, looks like there's some fuzz in here, and some rosemary, and I have some Swiss chard. You could add other herbs. Cat got all my thyme, or I'd have thyme in here. Um, and you, there are other, um, you could do basil. You can do a few different things. But the idea is to cut up all, the, we're gonna cut up all these veg. Um, put them in the food presser, grind them up really small, and then I'm going to show you what to do next. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to weigh how much of the vegetables we have because we need to know how much they weigh so we know how much salt to add. So I've been I've ground up uh, my vegetables in the food processor. I'm going to add them to the bowl, and then we're going to figure out how much salt we need to add. We have 618 grams of vegetables. And so we'll, oh, I got a little bit more on the spoon here. Let me just see. 622 grams. Now I need to do some math. So what we need is 20% of 622. That's what we need in salt. 124.4 grams of salt. So we're gonna add about 125 grams of salt to this. I'm going to get a pot. Pot. I'm gonna put this into the pot and then I'm going to weigh my salt. A bit of a mess here. So we're gonna put that back to zero. There we go. Now I'm just using the pink Himalayan salt from Kirkland. about 124, 125 grams. There we go. So now I'm going to add my salt to my vegetable mixture. Get a spoon, just gonna stir this in. Now I'm going to put this on the stove in a second here, and we want to simmer this. We want to cook all of the liquid out of the vegetables. It's going to take about two hours, approximately. Like I said, it was going to be a quick process. It was going to be a, you know, it's a little bit of a process, but it's going to be worth it. If you could smell this, mm, it smells so good. It smells so fresh. Okay, so I'm going to get this on the stove here. So we're gonna turn this on nice and low and we're gonna cook it slowly for a couple of hours until all the liquid is out of it. When you first start cooking your powder here, it's gonna have lots of bubbles. So we're gonna keep stirring that so it doesn't stick and it doesn't burn, but it, that's just the water coming out of vegetables and de, like it's not dehydrating, but it's evaporating. We're gonna dehydrate this afterwards. So it's been about an hour now and you can see it's a lot drier. There's a lot less liquid. But we're gonna let this simmer for another hour. And then I'll come back 
again. So lighting's really bad right now, I'm sorry, and we're a mess everywhere. We just finished supper. The broth here is mostly dry. So now what you're gonna do if you make this is, I need to get my oven mitts, my pot's kinda hot. Okay. I'm gonna show you here, so it's pretty dry. Stuck to the bottom of my pot. I'm just gonna put this now on a piece of parchment paper on a baking sheet. The pot is still a little bit hot, so it's pretty dry. But now I'm going to spread it out on a piece of parchment paper, and I'm gonna put it in the oven to bake for another hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. And hopefully by then it'll be completely dry. I'm just gonna spread this out. And every so often I'm gonna go in and stir it up a bit. Right. So now this is gonna go in the oven. vegetable stock powder has been in the oven for about an hour and 10 minutes. I took it out a little early. It can stay in for around 75 to 90 minutes, but I felt it was done after about 70, so I took it out. I'll show you a picture of it here. So as you can see, and you can hear, it's quite dry, and that's what it needs to be. It needs to be dry, and then I'm going to put this in the food processor and grind it up into a powder. Put that twist. Just going to put that into a little jar here. And then grind up the rest. vegetable stock powder. Um, it, when you go to use this, you only need a teaspoon per liter or per quart, I guess, if you're, it's pretty close. So this is just a little Fido jar here, and it says Fido on the top. The blue has come off, but yeah, that's where I keep my bouillon. And yeah, this will hold, keep for up to three months in an airtight jar like this. Well, I hope today's video inspired you to make some of your own homemade vegetable stock powder. I'll leave the recipe down below, and if you give it a try, be sure to let me know. Let me know what you think of it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.